Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you a new item that was just added to the Mountain Pass Performance Catalog. And this is the Racing Bucket Seat Mount Kit for uh, the Tesla Model 3, which looks like it fits a number of Model 3s, including the rear-wheel drive, the all-wheel drive, and the all-wheel drive performance. And so if you've, been, uh, if you've done any track time in your Model 3, you probably realize pretty quickly the standard seat belt uh, does not hold you in particularly well and you get thrown around quite a bit and um, it makes it a little bit harder to control the car. And uh, even if you decide to go down the route of uh, adding something like a, a simple harness, like I use uh, this, uh, this quick fit, which can be integrated with the, the OEM seat and connects uh, to the mount points in, their, in the rear, um, this holds you in pretty well, but you can actually still slide around um, laterally within the seat. And that's the, uh, I think the solution anyone would want uh, for regular tracking is a bucket seat setup. And so until this came out, there was, as far as I knew, only one option out there. And that was um, the seat by Unplugged Performance, which I do not own, but have definitely had my eye on. And it looks really, really nice. Um, but the one thing it has is it is, uh, it looks like a beautiful seat mounted on pretty much a flat platform. And what you lose is kind of the, the motors uh, that can move the seat front and back and the easy in and out uh, that you get with the OEM seat. As you can see here, you pretty much just get right down here kind of a manual uh, forward and back slide. So uh, it looks like what they have done in Mountain Pass here is figure out how to put a set of mounts together where you can bolt in a number of aftermarket bu bucket seats as long as they're within a range of between 384 and 405 uh, millimeters wide. Um, and then you need a couple of parts that don't come uh, with it that come from uh, an OEM seat. So you, it looks like you do need to either disassemble your OEM seat to get a couple extra pieces or uh, you need to acquire a, another seat aftermarket uh, to get the extra parts. Uh, a couple other things worth calling out in their webpage here is uh, the harness only works on the driver's side. Um, they say it will physically mount on the passenger side, but the electronics won't work. And I assume that would mean you get all kinds of warnings and errors. Uh, and as I previously uh, noted, this requires a Tesla seat base and that is not included. An OEM seat must be disassembled as some components are required. So you'll need to either, like I said, take your seat apart or find one aftermarket. I'm sure you can find one on eBay. Um, and then also you need to find uh, a supported shell width. Up here they had mentioned that the Bride Zeta 4 is a confirmed fit. And I'm not terribly familiar with this, but I did some quick searching and over here, I just first, uh, first result I found, you know, the rough price range for that seat looked like to be, you know, what, 1200 to $1,700. So hopefully there are some cheaper options out there that'll fit. Um, looks like the OMP Champ Bar is a confirmed fit and a couple other options within this range. Anyway, uh, super excited to see this and um, hoping to try it out one of these days.